Hello UTC learners, welcome to our final assembly of the term. This assembly is all about celebration. Over the last 18 weeks, you have worked so incredibly hard and we are extremely proud. Please sit back and enjoy the next few minutes of this assembly, a showcase of all the work that you have been doing over the last term. And now my favourite part of every assembly, as you know, the student celebrations. If you remember, we started using Bromcom during May time. So this is the final results of our top scorers using Bromcom points since May. Fifth place is a joint one with 277 points. It's Julia in year nine and Joe in year nine. In fourth place, with 280 points, it's Max from 7E. In third place, with 295 points, is Zoe from 7T. In second place, with 301 points, is Mia in 9A. And in first place, with a phenomenal 368 points, is Ben in 9M. What a fantastic effort to all of you who have been earning those points over the last few months. And our final scoring for our tutor groups. Year 7, 7A got the most points. In year 8, it's 8S. In year 9, 9E have been our leaders for the whole time we've been using Bromcom. Year 10, it's 10E. Year 11, still scoring points even though they finish quite early on, is 11M. Year 12 is 12M and year 13 ended up as a draw with both tutor groups scoring the same amount of points. And now our winning tutor groups. This is something we will continue into the new year, obviously with a fresh start. In third place with 1,642 points, 7E. 
In second place, with 1,739 points, is 7A. And in first place, with an amazing 2,135 points between them, is 9E. Round of applause for those amazing tutor groups. And our academic aces, our final academic aces, have been nominated by the senior leadership team. Claire in year eight has tried her very best and asked for help throughout this time of lockdown. Samuel in year eight has put excellent level of detail into all of his work. Bracken in year seven has continually taken part in the tutor time activities and reminded me every time I've forgotten to put them on. Callum in year 10 has shown resilience and a positive attitude, particularly when he's returned to school. Tyler in year seven has shown high levels of resilience and made a personal leap. Alfie in year eight has put in amazing efforts across all of his subjects and these have been recognized by so many of your teachers. Well done, Alfie. Alfie in year nine has put into great put great contributions into his GCSE taster classes, particularly history. Ben in year nine for his creativity and innovative approaches. Vinny in year seven for showing high levels of maturity throughout this time. And Oliver in year 12 for consistent hard work throughout lockdown. Well done to all of you. At the end of every module, we ask students to fill out postcards to thank members of staff for things that they've done over the last module. I put this out to our Key Stage 3 students last week and the responses were absolutely phenomenal. Please, over the next couple of slides, pause and have a read of what our students have thanked their teachers for. Really hope you've enjoyed our final celebration this just leaves me to say thank you so much for your hard work for your resilience for showing all of those attributes of the learner profile over the last 18 weeks we have managed to invite back our year 10s our year 12s we've met our new year sevens this week our year nines have come in for taster sessions and over the next couple of weeks we're hoping to see all of our year sevens and eights we cannot wait to come back in September and resume teaching. So thank you so much, parents, students, and everybody else who have been working in these extremely challenging times. This summer, we need you to relax, reinvigorate, so that you can come back in September ready to go.